starting off a um, four day hike. Pretty exciting, can't wait. We've had it planned for a while, um, me and a few mates. And we are doing the Sunshine Coast Great Walk. Um, <clears throat> I think it's about 70 k's or something like that. It goes over four days, three nights. So I'm using my um, pack that I made, which is pretty cool. So this is the first trip with the um, pack. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Um, I've only done a couple of little short little you know, day walks with it. So hopefully it all holds together. See how good my stitching lasts. <laughs> um, see, I'm just meeting the fellas here at um, what's called Leafy Lane Trailhead. <clears throat> so they'll pick me up from here. And then we're taking one car up to Baroon Dam to where we start the trail. And then from there we do the trail. And then on the way back, instead of doubling up on some of the trail, we're cutting off and coming up. Um, this leafy lane trail um, heading back to my car and then we'll jump in my car and go back and pick up the other car sort of thing so this sort of saves us doubling up on one of the sections of trail because no one really likes doing, doing double <laughs> sort of defeats the purpose of going out bush there's meant to we might get rain a couple of times but other than that should be pretty good weather nice cool nights um, I'm using my hammock um, with my under quilt and all that. Just got a 10 degree sleeping bag, which I reckon is gonna be fine. It's not gonna be crazy cold or anything like that. And um, the only bad thing is when you're hiking these sort of national parks and that, a lot of them are um, no fires, which sort of is a bit of a bummer when you're out camping, but that's all right. We'll um, get it all done and see how we go. It's gonna be a nice hike, I think. All right, we'll catch up here when we start getting onto the trail. Cheers. All right, off we go. <laughs> 70 k's to go. <laughs> Classic. Nice. <laughs> Doesn't get much nicer than this. Beautiful. Right, the first stop for lunch. Nick's setting up his, I don't know what that is, some sort of a spider. Nice spot for a bit of, bit of lunch though. Yeah. Goes right on up. Hey, he's gone, we're just at our stop for lunch break. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Live in a pretty good country. 
Beautiful. Over down there. <laughs> Here we are at Flaxton's campsite. This is your toilet, obviously. Drop down toilet, little flusher on it, and um, some water. Not too bad. Make sure you bring your own toilet paper. Because whether they've stocked it or not, you don't really know. And then these are like the little campsites. You're in here and you got like a little table sort of thing to put some of your gear on and that, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> you can just see Lindsay's tent there. Yeah, here's Nick setting up. <laughs> Look at these tent folk. Yeah. Hammock set up. Two seconds. Thanks for coming. Got the hammock under there. Yeah. Here's Kurt over here. Setting his giant tent up. Bloody massive. Called the hotel. Oh, and there's Lindsay over there. Pretty nice little campground, actually. So we've made it first night. <laughs> I think we did what was it, 16, 17 k's today. Sort of sucked the day, sort of ended on a um, walking along the road. It starts for a couple of k, which is all good, but sucked a little bit. Oh, here's an indie setup. Oh, a noise, mate. <laughs> Fancy Come pants. On. There, Kurt's got the big trench here. He's actually cooking up a proper feed today. Potatoes, buddy. He's got steak, actual vegetables. Holy chamoli. <laughs> what have I got? Brown boy. I've got cauliflower and pea dal. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get it. I've got my little trangier as well. And then I've got these smoothie things, which are freaking awesome. Easy. And then we'll get the get a flask out and have a couple of scotches later. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hey buddy. <laughs> you got one big old fluffy thing. Good looking rooster. <laughs> Alrighty, we're off day two. What are we heading to? Uberg. Uberg walking camp. Uberg walkers camp. Nice. So today we've got to go all the way back down into the valley. We'll hang out down the creek, have a swim probably, and then big climb back out. Everyone slept pretty good last night. We had a couple little visitors, possums and that. That's about it. Nice morning. Hey, good. Hey, mate. <laughs> Down we go. It's getting steeper and steeper and steeper. <laughs> Be a bit different coming back up this, that's for sure. Off he's going.
All right, we're going across the footbridge. How cool. <laughs> Bit of a suspension bridge thing. Yeah. Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> oh, a bit of light rain. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Getting it done. Two and a half k's to go. Yeah. Oh, we've gotten into camp. Lindsay's going to set up there. Kurt's going to set up over there. I have no idea yet. <laughs> I'm going to put my hammock from this tree over to that tree and then we're going to put a tarp from here to this tree maybe so then we'll have this sort of table as a bit of an undercover area for tonight just for cooking and carrying on and then I'll have my hammock from there to there which then will put more undercover area across us as well that's sort of half the plan I think should work out alright but it's all wet, it's raining there's nothing super perfect anyway <laughs> no, it's pissing down. <laughs> Not much fun. Oh, we're all nice and wet now. Yeah, it looks like pretty settled in for the night, so I thought I'd try and get my tarp to see if I can set it up over the top of this like big table sort of thing. But my tarp just doesn't quite cover the whole thing without having a decent pitch sort of thing. So anyway. I'll be comfortable under here. <laughs> the guys setting up tents, it's pretty funny watching them. Whereas um, doing the old hammock, you set this up and then I've just got um, two carabiners and you just hook it onto my two ends and um, that's my whole sleep system done. Very simple. There you go. And yeah, Nick's over there, he's got a bit of a spare tarp, he's trying to String up across a couple of things, I suppose. Kurt's sitting up next to me, and Lindsay's over there. <laughs> what do you have for dinner, Kurt? Two minute noodles. What are they? Yeah. Gin ramen. Ooh, nuts! Just the mild ones. <laughs> that looks like Lindsay's having Moroccan lamb. And I am having Moroccan pork. Oh, there you go. Moroccan lamb and Moroccan pork tonight. And then me smoothie. Very nice. Quick creek crossing. And then we'll head up to Chirilla Falls. Nice. Very beautiful. What a spot, eh? Cherula Waterfalls. Beautiful. Gonna head down into the valley. Oh, no time like the present for a swim. Nice. Ha, ha, ha.
Ah, oh, the boys at it, relaxing. <laughs> not a bad spot, not a bad spot. Ah, oh, good morning. Last night we had a bit more rain again. Slept good. My under quilt here is freaking awesome. Keeps you warm as. And then I've just had a 10 degree bag. Kept me toasty warm. I think it was actually a bit cooler last night. Probably like low teens, I suppose. And not a lot of rain, but just enough to make everything wet and a bit miserable. So I think we did a pretty good call just chilling out here. It makes for the last day a bit easier. Alright. Alright, everyone's doing a quick run around, doing the speedy pack up. <laughs> Here's Lindsay. Just started raining again. Last things in. 